Hi, good morning, my friends. How are you today? Happy Monday. It's a very magical Monday. And I am so happy that we're back in the groove because truthfully, I did miss the routine of having schoolwork with my girls and just kind of making sure we're getting up at a good time and being productive. So, good morning. We'll wait for some of our friends to get on here. Hi, who's that? That's Miss Andrea. Can you hear me okay, Miss Andrea? <clears throat> so, I know some of you watched Miss Andrea this morning at 10 o'clock, and she talked about reduce, reuse, and recycle, and she read a really cool book, and she showed you her composting. And so today I'm gonna to continue talking about some of the reduce, reuse, and recycle. Good morning. Um, I also have a friend with us today and I know you remember her. It's Sally, hello. Good morning. Sally is here to help me today and we're gonna talk about water and how to reuse reduce, reuse, and recycle water. Have you ever heard of that before? I know sometimes when you think about recycling, what are the things that you think about? Maybe paper and what else? Maybe bottles, plastic, glass. How about water? Have you ever thought to recycle water? And how would you do that? I want you to just think right now. Sally, are we gonna give them the answer? Nope, not yet. Good morning, hi Kevin, hi Kira, hi Miss Alexa. I'm so happy to see everybody on. Sally, are you? Oh yes, we're so happy. So today, I don't know if it's gonna rain or not, but that's why I thought it was gonna rain, so that's why I wanted to talk about water today, and I have a story for you, and a couple things to show you. So. Let's start with the story. What do you think, Sally? All right, you go practice your cheers. Let's see who else is on here. Um, hi, Ariana. Hi, Miss Megan. Ah. Hi, Miss Linda and Vivi and Vincenzo. Good morning. All right, so one of our stories today is Miss Bindergarten and the very wet day. I thought it was gonna rain and maybe it'll rain later. So I thought this story was cute. Miss Bindergarten and the Very Wet Day, written by Joseph Slate and illustrated by Ashley Wolf. Meet Miss Bindergarten. Here is her class. They call her Miss B. One day at school, the rain is falling it is very it is a very wet day look at how rainy it is all the water where is it coming from when it rains where does the water come from from the sky from the clouds coco is wet coco is cold Poor Coco, says Patty. I will dry you, says Maddie. Now Coco is warm. The rain falls all day. The day is dark. The day is cold. But later, Maddie looks out. Look, Miss B, says Maddie. What do you think he sees? Maddie looks out the window. What do you think he sees? <gasps> What's it look like right here? Is it a little bit lighter? He says, the rain has stopped. Now we can go out and play, says Miss B. Put on your coats, put on your boots. Do you have rain boots and raincoats? Look, says Patty. 
There is a big puddle. I'll jump over it, says Maddie. Who jumps in puddles? It's a lot of fun to jump in puddles. Oh no, Maddie falls down. Maddie is all wet. I will help you, says Patty. She's a good friend. I wonder what happens. You think she'll help him stand up? <gasps> oh no, Patty falls down too. Patty is all wet. Whoa. <clears throat> Coco and Miss B help Patty and Maddie. Oh no, says Maddie. It has started to rain. But raining doesn't have to be a bad thing, especially when you can jump in puddles and have fun or do something new I'm gonna teach you when we're done our story. But look, says Patty, the sun is out too. I like the sun, says Maddie, it is warm. I like the sun too, says Patty, it is yellow. I like the sun and the rain, said Miss B. Why, why do you think she likes the sun and the rain. What happens? Do you know? Can you guess what happens? <gasps> Did you say it makes a rainbow? You're right. The sun and the rain can make a rainbow. And I know you've done a lot of drawing of rainbows and painting them. Hi, Ariana. Hi, Baron. I like to jump in rain puddles too. Hi, Mia. So this book talked about the very wet day and when it rains. So not only is it exciting to sometimes jump in puddles after it rains or even go outside and dance in the rain, but guess what we can do to help the earth when it rains? We can recycle water. And the way we can do that is by taking things like our pot or an old trash can that doesn't have holes in the middle or even a big old bucket and put it outside. When the rain falls, it'll fill the buckets or whatever you have and you can use it to water your flowers you can use it later in your garden, and that'll help the earth. That's recycling water, and it seems so simple. And that's also ha known as harvesting the water. You can use a rain barrel, and we may get into that later in the week. Um, we've actually painted a rain barrel at GSA, so some of you may have seen it. It's a big blue barrel, and it's painted. Um, we've never actually implemented it, but I think after this time off moving forward, we're going to absolutely do that. But I encourage you, my friends, to get anything, a bucket or like I said, an old trash can, as long as it doesn't have holes in it or use a pot. Whatever you have that can hold water and you put it outside when it rains and you collect the water and then you use it later at a later time to what are your flowers or your garden, and it's a huge help to the environment. So it's not a waste of water, okay? Do you think you can try that? It's a really simple thing to do. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about, what is that? Water, and water's so important for the earth. Water is everywhere. There's a drop of water. Water is everywhere. A river is water. This is water, and this is what you're probably most familiar with. You turn on your spigot and you get water. You take a bath and you get water. Rain is water. 
and that's what we're going to collect and that's what we're going to do to help the earth so i want you to take a picture if you help the earth and you when it rains this week and you put a bucket or something outside to collect the water can you send us a picture we would love to see it this is water too frost is water this is water so did you ever have a snow cone it's ice ice cubes are water they're frozen and then the snow cone grinds up the ice and it makes a really yummy treat <clears throat> snow is water this snowman that's made of snow is made of water that's why when he melts it's wet and there's puddles ice is water this is water too look what are they doing are they ice skating on a frozen lake so the lake is water this is water what is that they're icicles it sure is and how are you going to help with conserving water can you think do you have a bucket do you have something oh here comes sally oh sally sally she's always got a new idea <gasps> here she is oh sally you're so excited aren't you wait go ahead tell me sally said another way to water your flowers that may not be out in the rain maybe they're on your porch is to what sally tell me again to pick them up and put them out before it rains so that the rain waters them. Take them off your porch. You're so smart. And put them out in the rain. That was a great idea. And little things like that make a big difference when we all do it together. So this week you're going to hear the words reduce, reuse, and recycle many, many times and in many different ways. So I want to see pictures of you guys and what you're going to do to reduce, reuse, and recycle your water. Yay! Doesn't that make you happy, Sally? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do you miss everybody? Me too. Let's see who else is one. I think, hi, Colleen, Robbie, and I think Tommy. Hi, Frankie. Who else? Ariana. Hi, everybody. Give me a like if you're going to put something outside to catch the rainwater. Let's see who of our friends watching are going to give it a try. Just hit that like button right there on your phone. Let's see who's going to like it. Who's going to like it? All right, my friends, have a great week. And don't forget tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And tomorrow at 11 o'clock, more magical moments. And we're going to talk about reduce, reuse, and recycle. Don't forget, get your things to collect the rainwater and save it to water your flowers, even your plants inside. All right, my friends, blow kisses. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye.